Hello everyone and welcome back to the Build New Crest Legacy Challenge part 66 in this one. Um, we're slowly getting closer to 70 which is um, yeah a bit daunting actually. <laughs> oh goodness um there's so much i want to still do with the family so i feel like time's going so quickly but anyway guys welcome back i hope you guys are all doing well and having a nice week so far it's tuesday for me uh when i'm recording this and it'll probably go up tonight so um yeah hope you're all having a nice tuesday so far um and we're back to our normal legacy family it's actually been a while since i've been here because um i was filming um you know the the building videos and then uh we did the stories from new crest which i love i really really enjoying that series so um yeah there's been a lot of other things and i'm just happy to be back to our original legacy family i'm very excited the first thing that i wanted to do actually is to just give everyone a little bit of a makeover uh amy the boys uh, Lacey probably not so much he's gonna age up pretty soon so uh but it's spring now and yeah we haven't really given them a makeover in a while so i thought you know what first things first let's just give them a lovely lovely makeover Oh, I, the clocks in the game i love these so much and i think i honestly overused them but i mean look how cute she is with those clogs oh i love amy so much look how pretty she is oh i love her i mean we could give her new hair though i do really really like her haircut already but i mean she's so beautiful she could pull literally any haircut off look at oh oh <laughs> time she could oh she could go blonde she could easily go blonde oh my god this blonde on amy are you kidding me oh i'm so excited this looks so good on her i feel like i've i've clicked on this twice now this might be a sign that it's the one i really kind of like this hair on her i think that looks great oh my goodness i'm just obsessed with amy what can i say you know who can blame me oh look at the eyeliner on her oh, oh this dress you know i sometimes forget that this dress exists in the game oh this dress is so cute as well sometimes i forget about this dress too though like i forget this is in the game um because, I don't know, the style of it, like, either I really love the style of this dress on some sims. And then on others, I'm like, oh my god, no, get it off, you know. Um, but this is really a beautiful dress, too. Maybe we can just give us some flats. Like, this would be so comfy to just throw on and get on with your day, you know. Oh, I love the hair on her. You know, I really, I really did love the other color, too. But I think this hair just suits her so much as well. I mean, she, as I said, she can just pull off... A lot of different looks i think so i love this uh snowsuit as well so yeah guys i think amy's done her hot weather oh i love this one her swimwear party where we've seen sleep she's got a couple of different ones um the formal actually i might change this dress i'm not really feeling this dress on her oh yes i think oh and the black oh so classy so beautiful Yes, let's go with that one, actually. This is exactly what happens whenever I think I'm done. And then I'm like, you know what? <laughs> let's change something else up, you know? Uh, do I like that? Yeah, maybe that one. Yeah, 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 that's beautiful. Um, so yeah, a few like darker outfits, a few more bright outfits. I love this one on her, though. She looks gorgeous. I love the new hair. Um, so Edward, her cousin then. I think, um, let me see, he's everyday. Oh yeah, he's got this outfit for everyday. And this one too actually, so maybe we'll make this his primary one. And then we can just give him like a couple more different outfits. He's, his style is kind of cool, like laid back. Uh, not too colorful, I would say. Alrighty, so yeah, I spent way less time on the on the guys in The Sims, but yeah, so th that's gonna be his first outfit. Then he's got like this really casual one. Uh, his formal athletic sleeve, uh, party swimwear, hot weather, and cold weather outfits. God, I love this outfit on Diamond. You know, I don't even want to change this outfit because I just. 
this is like classic Darwin for me, you know? You can't... You, you just can't change that. But we... I mean, we could change up the colors. Cool. Okay, so he's also got a few different outfits now. He actually doesn't wear glasses on his other outfits. I just realized that. That took me way too long. So I think that's all done. Oh, I'm, I'm happy we did a little makeover just to... You know, freshen up the family a little bit, and uh, yeah, I don't know. I just I like doing it every once in a while. She would have a deep personal conversation with Edward, um, <laughs> who's a little bit paranoid at the moment. But she's kind of, um, you know, she's really a little bit concerned. I would say maybe is the right word about Lacey's upbringing because she doesn't feel that Edward's putting in enough effort as a father with Lacey and you know she's not stupid she realizes that Edward didn't want the, the want to have kids at this point in time um and you know maybe she's she's feeling a little bit stressed because she's actually been suspended from university guys so whilst we were, whilst I was doing the stories from Newcrest I think these guys were still going to uni and they didn't even pass this semester but we will just say in terms of gameplay that um you know, Amy and Darwin were really stressed bringing up Lacey and Edward was just kind of fooling around, having fun and not really taking life seriously enough. So this would be a moment where she would, you know, get Darwin and say, yeah, don't you agree with me? Like, we need to. <laughs> they just became good friends. But, you know, she's she's not mean to him. She's kind of trying to get through to him. But, you know, I feel like Ed was the type of guy who would be like, Oh yeah, no, I totally get it. Like, I will put in more effort. You're right. I haven't been the best, um... The best... Oh, he's just singing. <laughs> but yeah, he would say, you know, I haven't been the best father to Lacey. Um, but I'll do my best. You know, I'm new to this. It will take some time. And... So yeah, there's, there's a lot of, like, different... Uh, feelings and I feel like they're not really communicating like they're both uh, talking in circles around each other basically and not really getting anywhere with the conversation but at the same time Amy would feel like oh yeah no I've gotten through to him like it will be okay and she's gonna go and check up on Lacey now straight away um, whereas Edward you know to Darwin would be like actually I'm kind of thinking of like moving to to the university uh, place. Yeah, so Darwin would just, I think, really <laughs> call him a bit childish, but um, this proves my point because Edward's just, you know, yawning out of boredom at Darwin and yeah, he's just annoyed. Like, why would he bring this up to him? Um, He's like, you know, I'm trying my best, Darwin, and I don't know, I feel like Darwin and Amy just don't think that. And where whereas Amy would sort of talk to Edward openly about it at any time, I feel like Ed, uh, Darwin tries to keep it in as long as he can until he kind of boils over and just thinks, yeah, it's not fair. Like, he's like, I know you're not being truthful with what you were saying about Lacey, um, and we're just not happy, you know? Oh. No win scenario, yeah. So you, they they couldn't reach a middle ground, like at all. Um, what Darwin was saying and stuff, you know, Edward's just not taking it into consideration. Maybe he would invite Brandy out. Um. Okay, yeah, let's invite Brandy out on a date. Because it is love day today. I feel like um, Amy and Darwin won't really celebrate love day. I mean, they're single and loving it. So <laughs> they wouldn't be that bothered about love day. But I feel like uh, Edward definitely would. And he's just annoyed that, you know, both his cousin and his, um, and his brother basically just had a go at him for not being a good dad. Um, and he's already paranoid as is. So... He's like, oh my god, they're having a go at me. Uh, that's so, so unfair. Um, and he's just going to take his mind off it. We're going to flirt a little bit with Brandy. Um, see how she's doing and stuff. <gasps> Wait, what? why is Darwin here? <laughs> he's currently cosplaying and Bob's here too. Why is everyone gathering at the moment? 
He's on his own in the club cosplay, Darwin. That is really sad. <laughs> Can we invite people to the cosplay? Maybe like Brianna. Let's do like a few family members at least. And maybe some maybe some other sims. Because that's just so sad. Um, we're going to end the gathering though. Like, please Darwin, just go home. Just, just... What? What is happening? The sim cannot go home right now? Why? You're not part of the date. Please go away. Oh my goodness. Edward would be so annoyed. Accuse, <gasps> accuse of spying? He would definitely accuse him of spying. He's like, why are you over here when I'm trying to have a nice date? He's like, oh god, uh, he's being a bit paranoid. <laughs> so these guys are really not getting on very well. Like, he's like, are you kidding me? I leave home so I can just take a moment, like, away from everything and you're over here? Bob! <laughs> I hate this! In the Sims, you just can't have a private conversation without half the town. Without half the town coming over to you. My god, what was that, guys? I don't know. Okay, so now we have... A <laughs> Edward's like, oh my god, is he still here? Is he spying on me? Oh, bless him. You know, I feel a bit sorry for Edward right now because he's just not getting a piece and... No! What? Can we just sit here together, please? Brandy? Brandy, please? Oh my goodness, the... <laughs> Darwin, stop it right now. What is he doing in the background? This is so... Oh, God. <laughs> oh, my God. Darwin, what is wrong with you? What is happening with Darwin right now? Like, is he that much of a control freak that he has to, you know... No, Darwin, don't join in the conversation. Don't join in on the conversation. Oh no, Yang passed away. Oh my goodness. I didn't realize she was even that old. Yeah, I don't know. Um, That was really weird though. I don't know if Darwin also likes her, but <laughs> it was just so funny. I was staring at them from the side. Imagine how awkward that would be. All right, well, uh, Lacey has returned from daycare. Okay, she's doing pretty good. We might actually just give her a bath. Give her a bubble bath, you know, he's gonna spend a little bit of time with Lacey this evening. Uh, just making sure she's okay. And let's take a quick look at her skills as well. Oh, nice, Amy got promoted, very good. Um, so, yeah, she's doing she's doing alright on skills. We've still got a few days, so I think we should be able to manage it. Um, but yeah, no, so Amy's feeling really good. She's, of course, just sad about Yang. I still can't believe she already passed away. I feel like, you know... I don't know, I feel like she wasn't even that old, but apparently, apparently she was my mistake. <laughs> so I feel like Edward's up early and he's just planning, I think, to move to the university world, Brightchester, and um, complete his studies. We put him into the world of Brightchester, here he is, um, and he's just gonna give this a go. Um, you know, I feel like, as I said, I don't know if he's gonna take it seriously. We're just gonna let him do his thing, you know, <laughs> whatever. We'll see how he does on his own. But from what I do remember is that Sims on their own don't really do well at university. But we'll see. Maybe Edward will fail, maybe not. Um, either way, you know, it's fine. It's fine. And the thing that I do... Wait, how does she have a Sim Ray? How does she have this? How does she have that? Did Bob give her that? Bob would never do such a thing, right? Bob's responsible. Okay, so Edward just left. The family is feeling really, really sad. Um, you know, thankfully Lacey is still really young, but of course she would still she would still kind of realize that, yeah, well, my dad's just disappeared. Um but thankfully she does have Amy. Now Amy is she loves kids, she wants a kid of her own. So she would definitely see um, Lacey as her own daughter. And she is the care dependent as well, which is great. Yeah, I think that Amy's going to bring up Lacey. And 
she's gonna enjoy it and for that reason she'll probably um you know be quite good friends with Lacey and just be a good mom to whoever she does end up adopting as well the only sad thing is now that I think I've got this bug in my game where if the sims are suspended from university and I'm not playing their family um it basically will never they will never get unsuspended again this has happened to me before and I don't know if this is a known bug in the game but um yeah unfortunately she just has to drop out she's not having a good day <laughs> like she's uh you know her and Edward have fallen out because of this um she's dropped out of uni you know her job isn't going that well but I think this is going to be a turning point for Amy because now she's got time to think okay what do I really want in life and she realizes that she really wants to take care of her own kids and Lacey of course so you know at least she's she's figured that out I think um <laughs> we hope so at least um so yeah I think let's definitely oh they're gonna play dolls together okay I was gonna say they could definitely reach a toddler yes reach a toddler have a little bit of some quiet nice time together um what if let's see what her skills are again because she's pretty good at logic and writing i was actually thinking i know she's really really good like artistically but what if we got her to get a job as um like as a teacher or something oh bob's here hey bob <laughs> lacy's like hi bob why are you going outside to take the phone <laughs> Oh goodness, okay. Uh, so what if she has a job in education? Um, I think that would be really, really cool for her. Yes, let's do that, let's do that. And yeah, let's do that. Okay, she's gonna tutor a student online. Um, and she's like, hi Bob. Oh, you know what, it's so nice of Bob to come and visit us because she's had a, quite a tough day. Um, so they're gonna have a little bit of a conversation together guys i know just the thing that we need to do um to kind of de-stress because i think the family's feeling a bit tense right now um so let's just get them out of the house you know we don't go out enough i feel <laughs> which we're not allowed to but don't tell anyone <laughs> uh you know this is just gonna be really nice for the family to relax and have a nice time together oh, she reached level parenting four that's great um and where are the little bunny slopes um i had a lot of fun last time i played this with the stories from newcrest we went on the bunny slopes and it was just so much fun uh, i think it's a great activity for the family so we'll go uh one time with lacy and maybe darwin can just um yeah you can actually you can practice snowboarding that's pretty cool we can work on their skills a little bit <laughs> And maybe this could become like a family favorite vacation. So maybe every, I don't know. I mean, now it's summer, so I guess it doesn't really make sense. But um, maybe every winter, the family will go over to this world and uh, go skiing and stuff. Next time, maybe we could even rent out um, one of the lots and stay here for a little bit longer. I think that would be so cool. So yeah, Amy and Lacey are going to go down the slope. And I was just jogging past. Oh, I, I love this. I love this so much. <laughs> oh my god. It's a bit dangerous, isn't it? It's a little bit dangerous. But they're fine. They're fine. It's like, did you like that? No. <laughs> she didn't enjoy that. Bless her. Oh, he's battered and bruised. Bless him. Oh. Oh, that went so sad. He didn't have the best time on the slopes, did he? Oh, I would love to be here right now. How cool would that be? That would be so nice. Oh, no, Darwin has to go to work. Okay, go, Darwin. <laughs> Relaxation is over. Go, go, go. Alrighty, so I think after today's work, he will definitely uh, be able to reach level 8 in his career. And then we'll just kind of keep that going in the background um, until, you know, he reaches level 10. But as I as mentioned, you know, Amy, um, well, she's brave, first of all, for running in her swimsuit in the cold. <laughs> but I, I guess after the hot springs, that's, you know, you feel pretty hot. Um, but yeah, so I think Amy's going to go home. 
and after some reflection she's gonna be like you know what yeah i do want to uh to adopt a, a child and Lacey's gonna age up in two days so i think that's fine um so we'll just we'll have a look and let me see i think you have to go to hire a service don't you she might want to change her outfit as well though okay too late <laughs> she's gonna go in her swimsuit um, so we're gonna adopt a child. Let's have a look. I think she would just want to adopt a uh, a child, like a child's child, uh, instead of um, you know someone younger, because she's already got Lacey as a toddler. Um, who should she adopt? Madeline kind of caught my eye straight away. Um, so maybe she'll just go for Madeline, and we'll hire a nanny quickly for Lacey. Uh, meanwhile. Um, so yeah, oh, this is gonna be so nice. They're gonna have a new family member, uh, which is just great. Oh, Amy has a great reputation. Well, I'm not surprised. Um, so we'll get Lacey to go potty. And then maybe we'll, we'll maybe get her to... <gasps> Here we go. Oh, Mad... Yes, we won't change her name. Madeline Townsend. Ooh. Okay, Amy, please put on clothes. <laughs> I forgot to change her outfit. Oh, God. <laughs> No oh, me. excuse me, can you not run over my new child, please? Ah. Oh, I forgot that Amy's actually self-absorbed as well. No yeah, she is self-absorbed. So I feel like Amy kind of enjoys... Um, enjoys sort of getting the acknowledgement for adopting and looking after Lacey. Not that she does it in a, you know, out of, like, bad reasons, but... Uh, but she would enjoy compliments then, for sure. <laughs> and I think that we can put uh, Madeline in the bed over here in this room. I think that would be pretty cool. Because then Amy can take the other room that she uh, that Edward had. And we'll just give her... Um, we'll just give her a little makeover probably in cast. And we'll leave it here. So yeah, I think that in the next part Amy can definitely just start... Um, you know, properly with her generation of being um, a parent. Oh, she's so pretty with that hair. I love that hair on her. Oh, yeah. That's that's an adorable outfit. I'm all for it. I'm all for it. Oh, there we go. Great. So I think she's all ready now. We might give her some more outfits later and stuff, but I'm so excited. Oh my goodness. Yes, chief drink operator. Nice. Oh, that's so, so good. That's so good. Um, oh my goodness. Are we here in industrial as well? Guys, I switch off the industrial, like the eco lifestyle pack altogether so it doesn't affect the world. But the game is like, no, you are an industrial. <laughs> I don't know why it doesn't work. I'll try to fix it for next time, guys. But um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was a very chill episode. But we do have a new family member, Madeline. Lacey's doing really well. She's going to age up in the next one. So that both girls will be children. We'll see how they get on. And yeah, I'm hoping that Darwin just maxes his career. And we can really focus on Amy's um sort of family legacy uh from the next one onwards so yeah guys thank you so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you very very soon for the next part bye bye everyone